You can see how smoky it is. That's because of the dampness in the wood. It's very wet conditions. You can basically bring out, you can, you can bring out the moss. It's so damp. We're going to let this burn down some that is below the level of the rock, and then I can set that in place. Got that down far enough that I can put my rock on there now. And that will preheat this rock for cooking my pork. I've also got a airflow in behind here. So that's going to allow that to keep burning rather well, as you see. This rock is starting to get to the right temperature. You want to put your just drop a couple drops of water on there and see if they evaporate pretty quickly. It means this is getting up to temperature for cooking my pork. Whew. Guarantee it will follow me over this way. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna let this go a little bit longer, then we're gonna throw on the pork. I'm gonna throw on that pork now. can hear that sizzling. cooking really well. Almost ready to uh, flip these. I'm going to flip these now. survival tip when you're cooking uh, and you want to fast cook, cut your meat smaller. That way they're thinner. It will cook a lot quicker. This is taking about 10 minutes. I'm going to let it sit here for another couple minutes and I'm going to cut her open. I'm going to cut this open see if it's finished or not. This here is a dacite stone knife. Oh yeah, that cooked well. So I'm going to bring it over on my birch bark plate. I 
I'll show you this up close. So this is the thickest piece. You can see it's cooked all the way through. No burn on that or anything. This is very good. The stone slab fire pit worked really well. It didn't take that much to construct it. It's very simple. But it gave me a nice even heated surface to cook my pork on. You see, and it cooked it to perfection, in my opinion. So it was well worth the wait in preheating the rock. And then didn't take no time cooking the thinner meat in the smaller pieces. I appreciate you watching. And thanks a lot.